and then I'm going to take it, copy it, and I'm going to put it right back into SharePoint. So now we have that JSON back into SharePoint, and it's using the event class. And then I'm just going to hit save. And look at that. We've now color coded our calendar based on the choice field instead of the title field. Hey everyone, this is my SharePoint questions and I am Andrew Hess. So today I wanted to take a step back from Power Apps. I've been going on Power Apps for a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of SharePoint and we're going to do a color coded modern calendar. Now you may think it's easy, but there's a couple little tricks in here. So I wanted to show you how to create a SharePoint modern calendar, which is different from the classic SharePoint 2013 calendar. So if you haven't already, please like subscribe and let's get into it. So I have a blank uh, SharePoint site here. This is just a newly created SharePoint site. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Site Contents. And in Site Contents, I'm gonna do a new list and just a blank list. And we'll give our calendar a name. So um, my calendar. So this is just a basic SharePoint calendar. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three fields. So I'm going to create right here an add column. I'm going to click up here in the view and I'm going to create a start date. And we'll include the time. And then I'm going to include a end date with the time. And then finally, this is going to be a choice column. And this choice column is going to be how we're going to base our colors off of it. You can see here they already have a few uh, options here for our colors. Let's do projects. So I'm just going to keep it really simple. We're going to do projects. And in our choices, we're going to have project A, project B, Project C, and then we'll do one more. We'll just do Project D. All right, so we have four different values here, each of a different color. And I'm gonna hit Save. All right, so now that we have our columns for our project, let's come up into the View Settings right here in All Items and click Create a New View. And this is gonna be a calendar view. So we're gonna give the name, uh, our view a name. So start date and end date, we need to set the start date as the start date and the end date as the end date. And, and uh, right here, we're going to say, you know, make this a public view. Now, once we make this a public view, the, what we normally want to do is we want to come back up here to the view and set the view as the default. All right, so we've now set the view as a default. All right, so let's create an event in our calendar. So in our calendar, I'm going to choose today, I'm going to call it Project A. And let's give it an end date. And you know, we can put a time in here if we'd like. And we're gonna choose project A. We can see that I, I had a mistake in here, so let's uh, show how to fix that also, all right? So we now have a line item, project A, and you notice it's not color coded. So we're gonna figure that out in a minute. But first, let's fix our choice field. So I'm going to go up here into the gear icon. I'm going to go to list settings. And I'm going to go to the projects, the choices. I'm going to remove choice five. And if you notice down here, we actually have um, what is called JSON here written. And we're going to get back to that. But that's in the column formatting. But I'm going to save for now. And to get back, we just select on the title up here to go to My Calendar, and that brings us right back. So let's create another item in here, maybe on the 23rd. And on the 23rd, we'll give it another time. Okay, and this will be called uh, Project B. And we'll choose Project B. And I'm gonna go ahead and create, uh, you know, two more calendar items in here so we'll do project C and project D 
see if I can get through this rather quickly. Project C, and then we'll do Project D. On the 25th. Okay. So now we have a calendar, but it's not color coded yet, right? If we change the view back to all items, you can see here it is color coded. So let me show you the problem with creating color coded calendars first. All right, so I'm going to go up here to the view icon and I'm going to say format this view. And we're going to do conditional formatting. Now, if you notice, when I go in here to add a rule and we want to choose a column, we only have three columns to choose on. So we can choose title is equal to project A. And then we can change the color to this blue. All right. So right now we can do it on the title, but that's really not what we want, right? We want the color to change based on the choice that we selected. So let's go back to our other view. So I'm going to go up here to the view. I'm going to go to all items. And if you, we're going to go back into format this current view again, but on the list this time. So if we do conditional formatting and we go to add a rule, you'll notice, you'll notice this time we have my choice field called projects. And when it's equal to, let's say project B, you know, we can change it to, let's change it off that green and we'll change it to this purple. So you'll see that now we have the pill icon, but when it's purple, it's also highlighting on project B. So it's using that choice field, which is not what we were doing on the calendar view, right? So on the calendar view, we were doing it off of the title field. So I'm going to create a couple more uh, conditions here. So add a rule when projects is equal to project A, we'll change it to a green and we'll go back again. Add another rule, when projects is equal to project C, we'll make it yellow. And then we'll go back one more time. And that is when projects is equal to project D. We will then change the color to blue, okay? So let's take a look at this JSON equation that is creating these colors. And to see the JSON behind it, what we're going to do is we're going to go right up here into the format current view and manage rules. And what we can do is actually here at the bottom and my, my face is in the way one second. At the bottom here, there's this advanced mode. So let's check that out. And I'm going to take this out, this JSON. So this is the JSON. And I'm just going to paste it in this notepad. So if we zoom in, we can see this is the code that is making our colors on the list view. Now, if you look in here, we can see that um, when project B is equal, we're making it this light purple font, right? And then it kind of goes on. If it's equal to project A, we're making the mint green, uh, the gold font, and then finally the light blue. And then by default, it's gray if it doesn't match any of those choices. So that's the JSON that's creating this list view. Let's look at the calendar now. So I go to calendar, format current view, manage rules, and we can see we have, you know, the blue and the gray here. And let's go to advanced mode. And I'm going to take this out. All right, so now I have two notepads up and let's zoom into this one. We can see here that now we're doing it when title is equal to project A, right? Now, we want to use that choice field in the calendar. So let's take a look at what the difference is. And I can just show you the, the main difference is this uh, on the third line right here, the additional event class. And then we have additional row class. So all I'm going to do to color code my calendar based on the choice is I'm going to take this JSON on the left side and I'm going to copy it over, right? I'm just going to copy it over. And remember, it says event class there. I'm copying over. I'm going to change row to event. 
right? And then I'm going to take it, copy it, and I'm going to put it right back into SharePoint. So now we have that JSON back into SharePoint, and it's using the event class. And then I'm just going to hit save. And look at that. We've now color coded our calendar based on the choice field instead of the title field out of the box right now in modern SharePoint. We can't color code easily off the UI here, off the interface uh, to color code a choice column. But if we just copy that JSON from the original, if we copy the JSON from the all items view and we copy it over to calendar view and change it to an event class, we've then color coded our calendar. There's one more trick that we need to do. And that's when we first come to our SharePoint calendar list. You'll notice that when we first go to it and it's defaulted, that the colors are not there. If we go to our list, list settings, and go to the calendar view and add our choice field to the calendar view, the colors will then appear in the default selected. So that's one last little trick you need to do is you need to add your choice field to the calendar view. So I just wanted to show how to do that. I know it's a little bit of a trick, you know, these modern calendars that, you know, there's a little bit of tricks here and there. And I just wanted to create a little simple video today. So that's how you color code a calendar in modern SharePoint based off a of choice field. So if you like, uh, like this, please like subscribe. Um, I have been working a lot in the power platform. Um, but I, I just felt I'd touch on SharePoint today with calendars. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.